The Ten Commandments in Judaism and Christianity are seen as the pillars of morality in society. They are most commonly cited from the Old Testament of the Bible. But did you know that the Ten Commandments are also mentioned in the Quran, the Muslim holy book? Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And now this one is going to be one of the surprising similarities between the Bible and the Quran. So I decided that I wanted to do an entire episode on this. So let's get ready, guys. It's jumping in at number Number 10, the commandment of there being no other God and serving no other God other than God. In the Bible, this reference is found in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verses 3 that says, you shall have no other gods before me. Now over in the Quran, you'll find a passage that says this, so know, O Muhammad, that there is no deity except Allah and ask forgiveness for your sin and for the believing men and believing women and Allah knows of your movement and your resting place. And that's taken from Surah 47 verses 19. The next commandment is making no images of God. In the Bible, it says, you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. And you can find that in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verses 8 to 9. Now, in the Quran, it mentions this in multiple places. It says, there is nothing like unto him, and he is the hearing and seeing. Taken from Surah 42, verses 11. Also, and mentioned, O Muhammad, when Abraham said, My Lord, make this city, Mecca, secure, and keep me and my sons away from worshipping idols. And that's found in Surah 14 verses 35. So in the Bible, the Ten Commandments are found listed in the book of Exodus and also in the book of Deuteronomy. But in the Quran, the commandments, sometimes with very similar wording, is found throughout the book. Number eight, using God's name in vain. The Bible says, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. That's taken from Exodus 20, verses 17. And in the Quran, it states, and do not make your oath by Allah an excuse against being righteous and fearing Allah and making peace among people. And Allah is hearing and knowing. That reference is in Surah 2 verses 224. Both the Bible and the Quran also contain the commandment to honor your parents. In Exodus chapter 20 verses 12 of the Bible it says, honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Now the Quran's reference goes as follows, and your Lord has decreed that you not worship except him and to parents good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them so much as oof, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. The reference for that is Surah 17 verses 23. Number six, not stealing. So stealing in the Bible is found in Exodus chapter 20 verses 15, where it simply says, you shall not steal. The reference in the Quran that I have is a bit longer. It says, as for the thief, the male and the female, amputate their hands in recompense for what they committed as a deterrent punishment from Allah. And Allah is exalted in might and wise, but whoever repents after his wrongdoing and reforms, indeed Allah will turn to him in forgiveness. Indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. Taken from Surah 5 verses 38 to 39. Alright guys, so we looked at five commandments so far. We have five more to go, but before we get into the last five, just want to let you know about our new FTD channel, and that is called FTD Reacts. The link to the channel is below in the video description section. Here we'll be looking at the world and culture and trends and giving our live reactions and feedback on various different topics. So it's a great way to learn, a great way to laugh. The delivery is going to be completely different than what we do here on FTD Facts. So hop over to FTD Reacts. Again, the link to subscribe is below in the video description section. Me and the team hope to see all of you guys over there as well. The next command to look at is lying. The Bible says you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. And that's found in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verses 16. Now in the Quran, Surah 24 verses 7, it says, and the fifth oath will be that the curse of Allah be upon him if he should be among the liars. 
Also, another reference taken from Sirah 2 verses 283, it says, And do not conceal testimony, for whoever conceals it, his heart is indeed sinful, and Allah is knowing of what you do. Here we have murder at number four. Now, murder in the Bible, it specifically says this, you shall not murder. Very simple. Now, in the Quran, that commandment is found uh, with a little bit more wording. It says, anyone who murders any person who had not committed murder or horrendous crimes, it shall be as if he murdered all the people. And that's found in Surah 5, verses 32. And number three, we have adultery. The Bible says, you shall not commit adultery. Exodus 20, verse 14. Quran, Surah 17, verse 32. And do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. We got two more commands to look at. Number two, the command against coveting. The Bible says these words, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his male or female servant, his ox or dog, Key or anything that belongs to your neighbor. You can find that reference in Deuteronomy 5 verse 21. Now in the Quran, that reference goes as follows. Worship Allah and associate nothing with him. And to parents do good, and to relatives, orphans, the needy, the near neighbor, the neighbor far away, the companion at your side, the traveler, and those whom your right hand possesses. Indeed, Allah does not like those who are self-deluding and boastful. That reference is in Surah 4, verse 36. Now, number one brings us the command of keeping the Sabbath. The reference in the Bible says this, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Now that long reference is taken from Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 to 11. Now, Muslims believe that the Sabbath was actually discontinued when the Quran was revealed. So the Quran actually speaks about the Sabbath and it says, The Sabbath was only appointed for those who deferred over it, and indeed your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. That's in Surah 16, verse 124. But for the Muslims, God, however, ordered them to make every effort to drop all of their business to attend congregational or Friday prayer. And Muslims can also go about their business during the rest of the day. There's a reference for that and it says, O oh, you who have believed, when the Adhan is called for the prayer on the day of Juma, Friday, then proceed to the remembrance of Allah and leave trade. That is better for you if you only knew. That reference comes from Surah 62, verse nine. All right, guys, so that was a look at 10 of the commandments in the Quran and the Bible. As you can see, a lot of the wording was similar. Some of the wording was a little bit different, but you can find the essence of the 10 commandments, of course, in the Bible and also over in the Quran. Hopefully this video was useful to you as a resource. Now you know another similarity between the Bible and the Quran and what Jews and Christians believe as well as what Muslims believe. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below and leave a like before you get out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one.